Kelly Ripa and Mark Consulos quip that they can't help being sexy. Are Kelly Ripa and Mark Consulos too seductive for Milan, Japan, and New York? The 52-year-old former Riverdale star made light of the fact that he and the Live Wire, long-winded short stories author might simply be too sexy for the early morning hours. Despite recent hot headlines, Ripa, 53, stressed that the couple doesn't perform many sexy stories on their show. I think that when we talk about stories in general, like if we talk about them on our show, it gets attributed to us that we're being sexy, she exclusively told Page Six at the Paley Center for Media earlier this week. We simply can't help it if we're covering the current events, such as when we write about naked attraction, is that right? It was said that I was discussing penises. I didn't refer to his penis, though. I was discussing the penises of other people. Despite Ripa's explanation, the two did act jocular when discussing Consulo's package during their discussion of naked attraction last month. The mother of three stated of her husband's response to the show, I could tell you were starting to feel really good about yourself, hinting the Queen of the South alum was more endowed than the contestants. The duo has been outspoken about their shared attraction and good sex life ever since Consulos took over co-hosting duties from Ryan Seacrest in April. Regarding Consulo's really good penis size, Ripa gushed. They humbly acknowledged that their daughter Lola witnessed them having sex, and the father of three has had many other heated moments, including flashing his ripped body. The couple, who met while starring opposite one another on All My Children, got married in 1996 after having an illicit affair. They have three kids together, sons Michael, 26, and Joaquin, 20, and daughter Lola, 22. All of Ripa and Consulo's children have since moved out, leaving them as empty nesters. They pledged that they were not tired of one another despite being the only two people left at home and working together every day. We don't spend as much time together as you would think, the hope and faith alum said. You know, if it weren't for those few hours we spend in the mornings, I mean, I'm thankful that we have our job life in the morning. Because we have outside jobs and other commitments, we do go for long stretches without seeing each other.